Hello, this is the IT guys, and we're looking at Microsoft Word 2010 today. Now, as you can see, I've inserted a picture, which is our logo. So, as you might be able to guess, we're going to be formatting pictures today. So, first, to format pictures, you want to click on your picture or insert a picture if you haven't already got them. You can either copy and paste the picture in, or you can go to insert and click on picture here and then insert an image from files. To start formatting an image, first click on, on the image. Then, under Picture Tools, which will appear in the top right, click Format. Like so. Now, what you want to do is wrap the text to square or tight. I will normally go to square, but it depends what you're doing. This allows you to freely move the image around your page. Next, I'm going to put some effects on our image by putting a border. You click here on picture border. I'm going to make a red border, which you can see is a thin line here. And I'm going to increase the size to make it nice and thick. That's how you include border on your image. You might, however, want to use one of these preset styles. There are a lot to choose from, including circles, like so, rectangles, fades on the edges, making the images look like they're on angles, and different sized borders. I'm going to choose this circle. You can see it's got a little shadow which makes this look a lot nicer. You can then change the colour of the border. So I just changed it to red. And I just resized our image to make it a bit big. Like so. Next, on our formats page, we're going to compress our picture. We're going to apply it only to this picture we're going to use the document resolution. We're also going to delete the cropped area of the picture. This makes our image a lot smaller and easier to handle in our document. It takes up less memory space as well. The next thing we're going to do on our picture is adjust the colour of our picture. You can increase brightness, and things like this. We can also change the colours to include orange or blues, or you can have even more variations with pretty much every colour available. So if I wanted to set our image to blue, I could do so like that. I don't like it, so I'm going to undo this like that, and it's back to normal. You also have artistic effects, like this, which you can use on pictures which aren't particularly important, or you want to have a certain effect. Some of these look like they've been painted, or fuzzed out, etc. These artistic effects will be used depending on what type of document you're creating. I'm going to leave it with no effects. Finally, you can create corrections on your image. This includes changing the brightness to make it brighter or darker. You can increase the contrast and also decrease the contrast to make the picture stand out less. This just depends on again what the two palette I'm using the image for. I'm going to increase the brightness and the contrast a little bit, like so. Finally, on your image, you can remove the background. This is best only on simple images, because complicated images, it is hard for Word to work out what the background is. In my case, the background is the black area, so I want to make sure that gets deleted. Purple is what's getting deleted at the moment. I want to keep things like my mouse. So, if you click on the area to mark areas to keep and you draw a line on the area you want to keep in your document. 
like so. I'm now keeping most of my mouse. But as this is quite a complicated image, it would be very hard for me to remove the black background. So, I'm going to discard all changes. Finally, if you don't like the edits you have created on your picture, you can reset the picture like this. And this will change it back to how you started. Like so. Do this under the Insert tab, and then you click on Shapes. You then get given this long, long list of auto shapes to choose from. The one I'm going to pick on is this circle. You can press Shift while drawing this auto shape to make it into a perfect circle, or undo Shift to have it as a free auto shape. I'm going to make it into a nice perfect circle. Like so. I can then change the colour of the fill of the shape. The outline by turning it off or changing the colours. You have to change the weight and also the style of the outline. So I'm going to make this as like a cutty out exercise. So I'm going to have this dark black outline which is dotted around our circle. Finally, you can add text to your auto shapes by right clicking then clicking add text on the menu that appears this will then place your cursor inside the auto shape and you can then type freely it can be quite hard to see what has been typed so into your home tab just like you do normally you can resize the text you can change the colour of the text and also you can reposition the text within the auto shape. Justify it. But I'm going to leave it centered. Finally, you can align the text in the auto shape to the top of the auto shape, the center of the auto shape, or the bottom of the auto shape, like so. I'm going to leave it in the center, but I'm going to have our text facing the wrong way using the text direction tool. So, this has been the IT Guys, and this has been Auto Shapes and Images. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.